Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today we will be covering World 1 Fortress, so let's jump right in. First off, keep in mind we will be doing this in the most speedrunning sense, so we will not be covering the generic path of going through the door, or the ability to clip on the wall and go right to the boom boom. However, if you would like to know how I was able to remove the dry bones from the section where I wall clip, stay tuned and I will cover that at the end of the video. Start the level holding forward and B and run as close as you can to the stairs, while at the same time small jump as early as you can up onto the stairs. To make this jump easy, line Mario up with the second last line dividing the blocks on the floor. Once you land above the stairs, continue forward and do another small jump once Mario crosses over the last line. We do this to make it over the gap and land as early as we can onto the next runway. If done correctly, Mario will build his P-Speed on the last block. Once P-Speed is built, you can now do a full big jump landing on the 5 block runway. Once Mario reaches the second last block is when you start to do your crouching medium jump to make it through the two blocks space. This will seem very difficult at first, but once you get the feel for it, it'll become much easier. You can also bonk your head and keep running forward after to rebuild your P-Speed, which will look like this. We can use visual cues, but since Mario is running so fast and there are so many single block tiles, it's hard for our eyes to adjust. So you have two choices, smallest jump possible at the 7th block, or you can run as close as you can to the orb and execute the smallest jump possible. The reason we do the smallest jump possible is because if you jump higher and hit your head on the roof, it will actually push Mario back down quicker, which will result in him traveling over the orb with a smaller amount of distance. Keep in mind, the closer to the orb you get, the more room you you will have to jump. You can still make it over the orb while hitting your head on the roof, but you will have to be closer. This next part is a little free. Jump out of the orb tunnel and land on the next runway. Make this jump nice and tight, nothing too big, nothing too small. The timing of the orb tunnel will allow you to run under this next orb. There are two ways to make this next jump, and both are a little tricky. I will show you how I do my way, but also explain the other way. First, you will want to line Mario up with the second last block in between the two windows. Once you see Mario within that block, it's time for you to execute a small slash medium jump. A jump that's just in between both pressure points. It's your first small medium jump, it's time to be scared now. This jump will land you on the first block of the set of two, which is exactly where you want to be. The other jump is simply doing a full big jump as Mario reaches the first block after the red orb tile on the ground. It will get you to the same spot, your choice. Regardless of which jump you do, once you land on that first block tile of the set of two, you will want to do a crouch medium jump to make it up and over the next orb. Sometimes your timing might be a little off, so it's okay if you need to do a little turn back to avoid running into the orb. This jump lines you up to go in between the floor and the question block where the first window is. Once you are under the question block, you will need to precisely time two A presses. One to hit the block and the other to jump up and grab the leaf to continue flying upward. The A presses are precise because if not done well enough, you will lose your P speed making it so you can't do a super swaggy fast jump. This jump is the second hardest part of the fort because of how quickly everything needs to be done. Don't forget that since you will be coming out of the block on the right side, you will need to make sure you press left before or after your first A press. For comfort, I press left before my first jump and time it when I reach the first block before the question block. Now you have spent a couple hours getting this right, you can then rapidly press A to fly upward and to the left. I get asked a ton, why fly to the left and then to the right, and it's because Mario has momentum while he flies. For example, if I hug the wall while flying up, my speed is zero, and when I land on the ground, I will start to build my speed back from zero. Whereas if I fly left and then fly to the right, building a small amount of speed in the air, once I land, I will already have speed built. I will then continue to run forward while slightly tapping up so I can enter the door as soon as possible. After you have gone through the door, all you need to do is hold right and B and just go towards the chest and get the flute. In the warpless category, it's faster to grab the flute, but we will never use it since it is the warpless category. Here's what it all looks like once it's been put together. Yeah. 
and as promised, I will show you how to despawn the dry bones to practice the wall clipping with P-Speed. This is actually pretty simple. Once you get to that spot, just let the dry bones walk under the question block, and as he does that, you will run to the far right wall by the door. Doing this will despawn him, and you will be able to continue trying to get the wall clip without him in your way, as long as you never pass under the question block on the left side. Thanks for watching episode 3, I hope you guys learned a lot. If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap that subscribe button to know when episode 4 comes out. I will be covering World 1 Level 5. Also, if you would like to see some live action world record attempts, make sure to check out my live stream over on Twitch.tv. The link will be in the description below. Thanks guys, see ya!